The notorious Conor McGregor took on Paulie, the magic man, Malinaji, in preparation for his upcoming fight with Floyd Mayweather. Now, let's first go over how this feud began between McGregor and Malinaji, and then we'll go into my analysis, what I think actually happened in the sparring sessions. Now, the Mayweather-McGregor fight has been officially signed for about two months now, but it's been promoted for the past year and a half. And in the early promotion, long before the fight was officially made, Paulie Malinaji threw a jab out at Conor McGregor, challenging him to a professional boxing match. He claimed that he would box off McGregor's beard if they were ever to get in the ring together. He claimed that there was no possible way that Conor McGregor could get in the ring with Floyd Mayweather and win. So he proposed that he should be the first test for McGregor to see if McGregor can handle professional boxing. Now, a fight with Paulie and Conor never happened. For whatever reasons, obviously because a Mayweather fight was a much bigger money fight. And Paulie's relevance in boxing isn't really much past him being a commentator. But Conor McGregor is a very prideful man, and it seems that he never forgot the words that Malinaji had said about him. So a couple months later, the Mayweather McGregor fight is official. And Conor McGregor requests to have Paulie Malinaji be one of his sparring partners. Sparring partners are paid fighters who are supposed to get another particular fighter ready for a big fight. So Paulie agreed to the terms. And the two sparred on just about two occasions. A couple of pictures were released, but no actual footage to this point. After the second sparring session with McGregor, Malinaji quit sparring. He quit helping the McGregor camp. Now before the camp started for Malinaji, he seemed pretty optimistic and he seemed like he wanted to help McGregor. But now since he's quit, Malinaji seems a little salty. Malinaji claims that he beat up McGregor in, in the sparring sessions. He's going around saying that McGregor can't take shots to the body, McGregor is arrogant, he's cheap, and that the pictures taken were from McGregor's team, who are obviously only going to make McGregor look good. They're not going to put a picture out of Paulie whooping Connor's ass. But let's look into this a little bit. Now, I've never really been a really big Paulie Malinaji fan. He's, I find him better to be a commentator in some cases. Some cases, not so much, but he's a pretty good commentator. But he's a much better commentator than he ever was a fighter. He's really not built to be a fighter. He has heart, I'll give him that, no doubt. He has heart. But he he's not a very strong boxer. He has really light punching power I know he's had a lot of problems with his hands he's got very fragile hands he's not very strong it seems anytime he fought big names he pretty much lost but he's known to have a good ability to survive he's got a pretty decent chin and he's got a nice jab but for all of his deficiencies he's he managed to become a two-time champion in the boxing world. Now, Conor McGregor is a hard-punching, rough kind of fighter. He's pretty much the opposite of Paulie Malinaji. On top of that, he's much more bigger and stronger as well. Now think about it. Other than Paulie's jab and movement, what can he use to keep McGregor off of him? If he tries to clinch McGregor, Obviously, McGregor is going to rough him up. And think about it. If this sparring was easy money, 
would Pauly really be quitting this early? There's been a couple interviews with the fighters after the sparring sessions. And it looks like Conor McGregor is pretty much untouched. Like, I don't see any black eyes or any bruises on McGregor. But Pauly Malignaggi, on the other hand, looks a little bit beat up. Now, in my opinion, I definitely think that Conor McGregor got the better of Pauly Malignaggi in this sparring. No one's going to fully know, obviously, until they release the footage, but this is what I thought happened. It's tough to take anybody for their word. Both guys are saying they beat the other one's ass. But Pauli Malignaggi says a lot of things that eventually contradict themselves. For example, back in 2013, in the build-up between Adrian Broner and Pauli Malignaggi, Pauli had a lot of beef with Al Heyman. He claimed that the only reason why Broner was a champion was because of Al Heyman. That Al Heyman matches his fighters together with tomato cans and gets them championships. Also that in close decisions if the fight leans if the judges lean towards the Al Heyman fighter, Paulie was assuming that Heyman pays judges off. Paulie said a lot of interesting things in the build up to that fight. But when the fight was over and Paulie lost a decision to Jim Broder. After all the negative talk about Al Heyman, Paulie went and joined his team. From then on, Paulie was advised by Al Heyman. Now, what does that tell us about Paulie that pertains to this? It tells you that Paulie's in it for the money. He's he's a greedy guy, which everybody to a certain extent is. It also tells you that Paulie will pretty much do anything for money. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that if Floyd Mayweather offers a good amount of money to Paulie Malignaggi, that he's not going to divulge any of McGregor's secrets? I doubt that. Now, all the talk that Paulie did against Al Heyman and then joining his team also tells you that Paulie doesn't have the highest level of pride. A very prideful man would never have done such a move. Now Conor McGregor on the other hand is a very prideful man. McGregor never forgot all the trash talk that Pauli Malignaggi was throwing towards his way before the Mayweather-McGregor fight was official. That's why he requested to have Pauli Malignaggi as one of his sparring partners. Now the pictures obviously have McGregor looking good. Also, think about the black and blues and black eye that Pauli Malignaggi had in the interviews after his nose was all bust up. And think about McGregor's face, clean. Also think about the attitude and how Pauli, Pauli Malignaggi quit the sparring after two sessions. What do all the arrows point at? In my opinion, they all point at the fact that Conor McGregor probably whooped Pauli Malignaggi's ass in sparring. Now, I'm not saying that in the sparring session, Pauli didn't have his moments. I'm sure he did. I mean, Pauli's crafty. He's got a little speed. He's got that jab, movement. It probably took McGregor a while to figure out how to get to Paul and Amalaji in the ring. But instead of arguing over who won, who lost, the sparring session, hopefully they just release the tapes. Now, how does sparring Paul Amalaji help McGregor in getting May in getting ready for Mayweather? Well, uh, I say it helps a little bit. It also gives you a good read on what Connor's attitude is and his approach to taking on Mayweather. 
what I take from it is that Conor McGregor is not going to respect Floyd Mayweather. He's not going to lay down for Floyd. He's going to go in there and he's going to take it to him. Does that mean he's going to defeat Floyd? We'll see. Does that change my prediction? Not much. When the fight was first announced, I made a prediction that Floyd would win a wide, unanimous decision. Normally, I like doing my predictions before all the buildup and all the training footage blurs your mind. But I'm starting to feel, what do you call, optimistic about McGregor's chances. I'm not picking him to win the fight. I still got Floyd. But I think McGregor is going to make this a very interesting fight. I think he's going to go in there reckless. I think he's going to give it all he has. I think he's going to leave it in the ring. There's a lot of people talking, saying that if McGregor was to miraculously win against Floyd Mayweather, that would be bad for boxing. I think the people that are saying that are very wrong. If McGregor was to stop or knock out or somehow win against Floyd Mayweather, I don't think it would be his last fight. I think he would continue in boxing. Having a character like Conor McGregor in boxing definitely put some life in the sport. If he did beat Floyd, imagine seeing Conor McGregor versus Keith Thurman or Conor McGregor versus Errol Spence or Conor McGregor versus Canelo Alvarez. It would be the talk of the town and I don't see how that could be bad for boxing. People argue that if McGregor wins, that's the end of boxing because it shows that MMA is better than boxing. I totally disagree. All it does is open the door to even more debate on that subject rather than close the door. Well, if Conor McGregor beats Floyd, it doesn't necessarily meet that, mean that he's going to beat Thurman or Spence or Canelo. But I want to be clear. I'm still picking Floyd Mayweather to win this fight by a decision. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Who do you think won the sparring? Does the sparring help Connor in his fight with Floyd? And also, if Connor was to win, does that mean the end of boxing? Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Real Boxing 100, out.